So I asked a few of my uh, online friends, car wood carvers, what should I do at the bottom? I kind of processed it overnight. I wanted to stick with the wind lines, like this kind of stuff here. Like I say all the time, it's my favorite stuff to carve. So I did Japanese wind down here, kind of, see? I wanted to do it, but uh, I asked this card, Rob, he said leaves or wind lines, but then he said wind lines, and my buddy Chris said wind lines, and then uh, uh, Larry Dibbs said wind lines, so I did wind lines, but j I did think of Japanese stuff, but then BAP motiv motivated over it there, and I can carve motivated me to, to do it. No, uh, wind lines. So that's that. So this guy's over here is... Done. he's kind of looking up this way like this way he's kind of tucked away there so now I got to give this guy beard hairs um, with my chainsaw and then I got to finish the owl yep carry on carry on carry on carry on Okay, I got all the beard hairs uh, cut in this guy and he's all done. Pretty well everything's done. I just got to get this lower now. And oh, it's a lot lighter than it first was because I think all this, the sand is out of it now. But anyways, it's still freaking heavy. Okay, now I can work on the owl, get this sucker done. Okay, so my cousin works at that uh, cedar mill. I'm going there tomorrow to get some more cedar, but he gave me these. These are little, um, uh, I don't know, he's a millwright, so they're things that they use to sharpen the, the things on the saws, the teeth on the saws. But yeah, he's going to get me hundreds of these. I was going to try and use this eye and this owl, like a mechanical one. I gave Ryan and Uncle Kevin some of these too. Um, but this face is too small for these sprockets. But aren't those cool uh, owl eyes? So I'll definitely be putting it in this big owl. See, it's got a black plate behind it. There's more of them. Anyways, so what I'm going to do now is go around and burn it. I'm going to burn the, the, like the deeper points with this torch. So like this would be deeper in here. It would be deeper in here and then down here and then here. And then I'll get my bigger torch and then I'll, uh, this one, and I'll just go over it quick. Like these deep points right down here. So yeah, I got lots of burning to do, but um, I'm not going to film it. Sorry I didn't film too much carving this wall, just because I'm too busy carving to film, kind of. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Okay, so that's burnt uh, good enough, I think. I see a spot needs some more. Um, let's just give it a quick hit over here. Now I'm going to uh, use the sandal flex and bring this come to life. Bring it to life. Um, yeah, so this is the dirtiest part of the job, but I'll do a time lapse. Then once I sand this, then I got to go get Pete's trailer and deliver these uh, wood spirits pretty soon.
All right. <laughs> Put some paint on the around the eyes. It'll blend in more. This thing is gonna go super dark. I still gotta sound to flex uh, this part of his nose a bit. Okay. I love it. This is total carbon fusion. So let me pull it back and I'll spin it a bit so you guys can see the uh, Japanese wind on the back. Um, let's see here. Okay. So there's Japanese wind there, comes up, swirls around, goes up here. Got this guy face. I signed it right here. Sign your pieces. And then there's this guy down here. He's cool too. I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but he's looking up uh, this way. So anyways. Super happy. I've worked my butt off, so butt off this on this. Sorry guys, sometimes I can't talk properly, but. All right, <laughs> yeah, I love it. This thing's gonna go so dark. Let's do a spit test on the nose. Now this sucker is gonna go dark. I'm gonna go get that, uh, that, um, Varnish that Ryan Cook suggests. I'm gonna go pick that up now, then I'm gonna go get Pete Trailer. And I'll come back and we'll uh, finish the sucker off. Okay, so I'm back from uh, delivering all the carvings. Got all my saws loaded up. See all that stuff lying around? That's cottonwood seeds. Yeah, this is all cottonwood seeds. What a mess. Huge tree. Anyways. Look, I cleaned up the shop. The shop is cleaned up. This piece, buddy, um, gentleman that uh, bought some of my other carvings that were here has decided that he wants to buy this too and he wants to oil it every year so we'll be putting um, oil on this piece so let's spray it a bit or it will go a bit darker than um, oil sorry oil will go a bit darker than this water that I'm spraying on here So that's what I'm going to be doing next couple days, oiling this. And it's done. Hope you guys are good. Uh, there won't be any videos coming from me um, for a few days because I got to carve uh, five wood spirits for a lady. And I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing wood spirit carving videos with a chainsaw. So. Um, hope you all good and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye